All right, welcome to 60 Minute Sports People. My name is Christopher Zidane Matthews. And um, subscribe, um, like, share. Tell your friend. Let him or her tell a friend. And a friend, and a friend, and a friend, and a friend, and a friend. Good? 60 Minute Sports. Subscribe. All right, so... Um, Chelsea dropped some points this morning. Um, they drew 1-1 with Burnley in the Premier League. And um, started very well, Chelsea played very well. There's, I, I, at the start of the season, I thought Chelsea would have been the team to compete with City for the championship. Liverpool is doing well. Um, once Liverpool is fully fit, um, you saw what happened a couple of seasons ago. They have a quality team and they have a quality coach. And um, once they are clicking, they are going to win games. So they'll be in the mix as well. But Chelsea, they have a tendency to, to fall in a, in a gear, you don't want to call it, where it's being difficult to break down, being tight, not allowing a lot. Um, they hardly ever concede from open play. As a matter of fact, this is the first goal they are conceding from open play to Burnley. All season. But then they, I think they find it difficult sometimes to be free-flowing once they are in that sort of mode. And I think that may have been a problem this morning. Yes, they created some other chances. Didn't take them. Obviously, Werner was not playing this morning and Lukaku is out. So, based on how, but I'm observing that about Chelsea, based on how Chelsea play, um, there is no doubt that no, they won't run away with the title. There's no doubt. It will happen. Yeah, so that's that. So Chelsea will compete, but you're not running away with the title. You, are, you, are, you, are, you have a chance. You have a real chance of getting back in a game when Chelsea had, have the lead. Because that's how Tuchel, this coach for City, that's how Chelsea rather, that's how he um, coaches. So you're always in with a chance to get back. And that's what happened Burnley this afternoon. And it could have easily been an upset. Um, when they were you know, forcing the issue to get the late winner, they left themselves killers at the back a couple of times. And a better team might have punished them. But I'm sure you all didn't come tune in to hear me talk about Chelsea. You all want to hear what happened in the Manchester derby. But it was a training session. People, it was a training session. As a matter of fact, I believe that City versus City would have been a much more competitive game. The scoreline, the Tony scoreline was very flattering. Very, very flattering. It could have been worse. De Gea had a spell in the first half where he was exceptionally good. He was exceptionally good. But in my last video, I said, listen. United need to fix their defense. They give up. They give, they give up chances too easily. And the reality of the situation: they played three central defenders and two wing backs. They had five defenders on the field, and they were still slide open rather easily by Man City. But the problem is that United will do well against other teams, you know, outside of Liverpool and Man City. The, the coaches for Liverpool and Manchester are just far better than, than, than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And once you have similar quality in the players, I think nine times out of ten, Pep will prevail when, it's, when it matters most. And Klopp, yes, um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer would have beaten Pep in a couple of derbies when um, City was basically running away with the title. But once... once they need these points. The points are... I, I just don't see him competing with, the, with those two managers at all. He's not that good enough. He, he's not the worst manager, but he's not at that level. And I think that may be the biggest problem for Man United. I think they will go on a run. I think they still will finish in the top four. But they are just not good. They give up way too much chance. I mentioned the Atalanta game before in previous videos. I mentioned the Leicester game 
And obviously what happened against Liverpool, you don't defend like that and win a lot of football games. It will happen. And also, again, I made a point about people saying United is, Ronaldo is carrying United. No. Based on how he plays, he cannot carry anybody. He will go as far as the attack take him, the overall attack, how they perform. Because he's waiting on chances, he's living off chances. He's not going to come deep and fetch and build the play with people, link the play and get into the attacking third and get the job done. He's not going to dribble past full free play and curl it in the back of the net. He's brilliant off the ball, his movement to get inside 18 and box to find spaces. He's a brilliant finisher. So he needs service. He, Ronaldo goes as far as United take him. What happened to people like Sancho? These players are technically gifted players. He has the ability to beat defenders. He has not been able to acclimatize with his teammates just yet. He, is, he has not settled well with United. They're very talented people. Greenwood, very, Mason Greenwood, very talented. They have the players in attack. Many says, listen, are they forcing the team to play around Ronaldo and it's, it's not helping the other quality players? Everything in the attack is built to provide the balls for Ronaldo and others are suffering. Maybe, maybe not. But Ronaldo gets you goals, goals with matches. So you can argue against that. But as long as you keep conceding those type of goals United, you're going to suffer. They're not going to win the league. That's definitely it. It's, it's something will have to be done. It's, it's disappointing that Varane has been injured for the most part and he was a player that you expected to come and have an impact because that's why many persons thought they would have compete there, brought in a quality defender. But Maguire is there and Maguire is just not having the best time of it right now. Defence just need to be fixed. Five defenders are still giving up chances. So there's a problem. They look good offensively. As I said, they build the team around Ronaldo to get goals. He's getting the goals. Score three against Atalanta in the champion. Score two against Atalanta. Score three against Tottenham. They will, they will score goals against teams. They will score goals. But you need a combination of defence and attack to win football games. And Solskjaer has to find a way to stop giving up so many spaces in behind and so many easy chances. This game could have been six Easily this morning. United won't compete for the title, people. Unless something dramatically changes for them. But I'm not sorry. When Arsenal... I was at a point as an Arsenal fan where I was thinking that every year is my year. After we went a couple of years not winning, I thought, yes, this was it. We have, we have built a team now and we're going to get the job done. This is what is happening to Manchester United. They won last time in 2011. We are now in 2021, 2022 season. And every year in the last six, seven years, I've been there. This year is not your year. I'm not sorry. United fans used to laugh off a lot of people. I'm not sorry for them, but it's not your year. Despite having Ronaldo, despite Bayern Sancho, despite having Green, talented attacking players. But you need a combination of both to win football games and tournaments. Quality defense, quality attack. And they have no midfielder who can put his foot on the ball and keep, help them to keep position. So teams like Liverpool and Manzi is going to run all over them. And they're going to chase. They are just not able to do what these quality, high quality teams are doing in Europe at the moment. They need that sort of player also. But most, more importantly, they need to solidify the defence. Or is they going to concede, concede to league goals? They're going to continue to league goals. So for me, Chelsea, Liverpool, City. Uh, Chelsea at the start with City to compete. Liverpool seem to be a part of that. As long as they stay fit, they have the quality. The manager is a quality manager. Man, Manu, Unokana dark. Unokana look real dark. 